Right, okay, so first of all, what we do is we go enable developer mode to get the developer settings. Um, so for an eGPU to work, basically you need to enable developer settings, first of all, in system and then enable developer mode. From here, we'd go into developer mode and we'll scroll down until we reach a setting. Which setting at all? Um, give me a second to work out. It's show advanced update channel. So you have to have that enabled. Um, once that's enabled, you go back to system. You change it to main and deck st um, steam deck um, stable. Once in there, you would double check the settings have been um, done. After this, you would um, probably reboot your system and you check here to check that it's updated. So you want 3.8 you want 6.15.8 and you want the Mesa version which would be in here to be 25.1.99 now AMD uses it uh, sorry the um, Steam Deck uses the AMD GPU um, graphics thing to manage all AMD graphics cards next up we're going to look at the setting on my um, eGPU so I got a 9070 XT Steel Series, um, a AOG 02, um, 80 watt, and it's all plugged in here. And I use the Thunderbolt um, 4 or USB 4, sorry, um, cable that I just plug into my um, console to get it working. First of all, you need to put your TV onto the HDMI mode. So for in this case, my HDMI is HDMI 1. Um, next up, you have to make sure that the thing is turned on, first of all. So my eGPU, I plug it in. As you saw, there was a bit of light, which means it was coming to life. Um, I'm not going to let this finish the updates that it's doing. Instead, I'm going to jam that cable in. Um, and then I am going to get power. I am going to go to um, restart the top. Once you restart, your console will start up. I like to plug in a controller, as um, I like controllers basically. Um, and I've got my 8 bit now dark and uh, my. Um, controller here, which I am starting up now. So as you can see, the Lenovo Legion Go now starts up. And because I've jammed it into the console, the graphics card has come alive, and the TV starts to change with the Display Port working. See, I run an HDMI cord back to the TV, and there we go. It displays it here. Um. Then you go into a game. So, for instance, the Outer Worlds. If you have a Lenovo Legion Go, you know when you have the Lenovo Legion Go in the settings, what it will do is it will drop it down into low. However, because... Um, oh, yeah, 9070 um, XT box up there. Gotta love the um, 9070 box. Anyway, so when the TV starts to load... Oh, that's me, by the way. Nice to meet everyone. Don't worry, I'm actually wearing um, shorts for anyone that was wondering. Um, anyway, getting back to this. You know it works because what will happen is, number one, the... Um, what's it called? The FPS is much higher. Number two... Initially, there is some initial stutter. But this is because it has a new... Um, graphics card and takes a little bit of time to get used to it the first time you boot it up okay once it's booted up just go into settings and you would go to change or detect graphical settings seeing as i've already used this before it's on ultra however if i were just using the z1 it would all be in low so i'm just going to go back go back and i'm just going to click continue so if I were playing this in Ultra on just a Lenovo Legion Go, it would be very, um, what's the word, laggy. But um, as you can see, 
the detail and level of detail. I mean, I do have FSR on, but um, yeah, it runs really, really smoothly on a number of games. Dishy Cyberpunk also runs really well. I apologize for my Wi Fi speed um, in advance. My Wi Fi is abysmal in my area. Um, yeah, that's where it's at. But yeah, um, I don't think Cyberpunk will load because it probably needs to download the, uh, some files. Uh, um, my, my download's atrocious, I'm going to be honest. It only goes up to 1.92 max. Uh, so um, I will be sat here for a while whilst this downloads. Okay, so whilst this is doing this, um, we'll talk about the caveats to this. So some games may be a bit glitchy when doing this. So I've noticed um, until this game was patched, for instance, Achilles, um, it got a patch, I think, um, yeah, on the 5th. For some reason, after that patch, it worked. But before that, it would just be a glitching mess. Um, I would load the game and it would be it would just be a glitching mess. Um, let's see if it works now. So again, when you put this onto the Lenovo Legion Go, um, all graphic settings go to um, lowest and medium. Obviously, if we just wait, this takes a little bit of time. Also, um, in my testing, I've not really seen much of a bottleneck, but then again, um, I've not really got a setup to um, do uh, much screen recording. Yeah. Okay, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading quite nicely. Let's press any button. Right, so in this game, the settings are a little bit weird. Er, uh, well, actually, they're working. Um, if I create a click auto set with this, is it going to see? They increase it to epic and um, everything else that um, the 9070 XT should be. So we click X to apply back, and um, I can't really play this for one handed, I don't think, very well. Um, yeah, you're going to see me die very quickly, I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the other thing is, when you connect it, um, basically you'll have to change it from default to external device in order to get the sound working. Okay, maybe that's not worked for some reason or another. Or did I click the right thing? Oh. Alright, okay. So, this is the first time I've encountered this error. It's not seen the HDMI as a audio output. Um, so there will be some teething things, but I would just suggest restarting the console and starting over. Uh, to get that working. Um, let me see if I can get that working. Okay, so yeah, if you restart it, HDA, ATI, HDMI is the one it usually works at. Additionally, um, you want to set this to 100% because your TV volume controller um, will determine what volume this is at so if you want your tv to actually sound loud um you have to do this in order to get it working um apart from this the only other caveat is obviously when you're switching back to just using it as a handheld you're gonna have to completely turn off the lenovo legion go and turn it back on with the eGPU unconnected um Apart from this, um, those are all the caveats and everything else to it. 
I'm also going to go over um, some of the troubleshooting settings that I've been asking Lenovo for um, on the forums and stuff like that.